Thanks for tuning in. This morning we're going to have a quick chat about what's in my bag. So I um, haven't done one of these for a little while. There's been a few little changes and uh, you know there's more changes coming but I had a little recent win in a, in a local pro-am and a few people have asked me what I've been using. So start at the bottom end, start with the putter. I've attempted a change but, but it's never come to fruition of, of recent times. So the, the sick flow arm lock with LA Golf, uh, the TPZ 180 shaft and Jumbo Max Grip. So this has been in my bag for just over 12 months now. Um, I, I did have in one of my recent videos a little attempt at, at going back to conventional putting. It's, it's just not for me. Um, I find that I get the ball started online best with the arm lock. If I get a little bit nervy or jittery, the arm lock really, really helps with that as well. So um, I can't see it being replaced. I putt pretty good with it, to be fair. My putting has really improved over the last 12 months. So yeah, the arm lock is, is it'll be in there for a little while. Uh, another change, well, a change that I've made in the bottom end with my wedges, I play 60 and 54. And if I talk about those individually, the 60 degree is an RM4 14 wedge. It is a raw finish, so it's only relatively new and it will continue to to rust up. I like the raw because uh, you don't get any glare from the sun. Um, in the 60, I've got the, uh, the BGT ZNE shaft. Gripmaster Rue Grip. So the ZNE I find is, is quite soft. I find it, it, it really helps generate spin quite easily. And so for those 60 degree shots, I use my 60 out of bunkers and very small pitch shots. Um, I love the spin and I love the raw finish. I love everything about this wedge. The spin out of 14 wedges is great. Uh, that's why they're in the bag now. The, the 54 is, is currently in, in the Tour Satin finish, RM4 as well. And with a Fujikura Pro 115 Tour Spec shaft. So in my irons, I play, I play the 95. Fujikura Pro Tour spec. So typically in my wedges I play 115 gram. I play a little bit heavier, just for a little bit more stability and control with those short shots. So the 54 I'm loving. Um, I'm not sure if I'll flip it out for a, for, a, for a raw finish or not, but I'm hitting really good shots with this. So my pitching has been uh, vastly improved since going to the 14 wedges. So it's, they've been amazing. My irons are still Shrixen, so so ZX7 um, gap wedge and you know, ZX7 irons from, from 4 to P, they're, they're a little bit dirty, I haven't cleaned them, to apologise for the filth. Um, they've been in the bag for a good 12 months or so, probably 18 months really, could be longer, I don't know, I haven't changed my irons for a little while. They are, like I said, Fujikura Pro 95S. They're about half inch over. I shouldn't say about, they're half inch over. Gripmaster Rue Grips for that ultimate stickiness. They're really sticky, fabulous in all conditions. Um, they swing weight in between D6 and D7 as I go up the bag. So quite heavy in the swing weight, but I've spoken about this briefly before. They are um, light in total weight. So with a 95 gram shaft, you know, and a, and a regulation head, a lightweight grip master grip, the total weight is quite light, the swing weight's heavy. So I, I like to feel that weight down in the head end. And, and I do love these irons. They are going to be replaced in the new year. It's just time for, for a, a change. Uh, in the top end, I go to four iron. So I've got a two iron and I've kept this one in the bag for quite a while. ZU85 Strixen, two iron, 18 degrees. Paired with Fujikura Speeder TR Hybrid Shaft. 
Now, this driving iron is quite, you might be able to see here, it's quite thick along the top line. And so you do see some of the back here. But I find the blade length is quite long. It's got a bit of offset. And I can hit this thing really, really low. The TR hybrid shaft is one of those ones that's gonna go through the air fairly low as well. So I have been toying with the idea of going to hybrid for that higher, softer land, particularly nowadays um, where there's no run. I mean, in Sydney, there's just no run. So I've been thinking about going to hybrid, but I just can't get away from this. It, it's really good off the tee if I just wanna hit one low, if I wanna get one you know, up there on a par five and I just kind of want to have control, keep it down under the wind. And I played a prime in Shelley Beach recently before last week at Bankstown. And this is a really handy club for those windy coastal style courses. So it, it's still in there. Whether or not I'll have a hybrid option, I'll work on hybrid options uh, over summer, that, that, that's a definite possibility. All right, before I get to uh, the, the driver and three wood, I've been using Footjoy Stay, uh, Stay Soft glove, uh, medium large, um, it's just, it's soft, it's ultra comfortable. Um, so that's what I've been using for probably oh, three or four years, I think, the same glove. And recently, <coughs> Pro V1. So I switch balls, like they're going out of fashion. Um, but recently, you know, it's been raining in Sydney every second day, so the golf courses are wet. There's no real need for a lot of spin. And I've been playing Pro V1X when I need spin, but right now you don't really need that much spin in Sydney, so I've, I've been playing Pro V1. It's been great. It's actually with the new wedges, the ball's been coming back a little bit anyway, so I'm getting plenty, I'm getting enough spin out of the Pro V1 and I don't give up anything off the tee, I, I gain off the tee. I hit the Pro V1 further off the tee than I do the X. So the Pro V1 is, is the ball of choice at the, at the present moment. Now into the three wood, the three wood, I, I hate three woods, right? I, I just don't hit them well because of my angle of attack. I've been working on that. I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting okay with it to be fair. I'm hitting it quite well. I still have the original Sim Titanium. Now I like to think of a three wood as like a wife, right? If, if you've got a good one, just hang on to it. Don't bother changing it out. It's more hassle than you think, right? So just hold on to the wife. This is the wife club. And this is why we see people with three woods, like Rory's still playing. Uh, I don't know about his three wood, but maybe his five wood. Still got original Sim titanium. I think, well, maybe even Tiger's got one of these in the bag too. But I've found that this graphite design UB in a 7S has been really, really good. It feels really easy to hit. I'm getting good launch. I'm getting great distance with this thing. And I'm actually starting to like it. Now I don't like the fact that I've got an old, older club in my bag, because I like to have the, the latest gear. But this has been going really well. And, and, and I put it down more so to the shaft than anything. Um, and I have been playing you know, as you all know, I've got Fujikura all the way through my bag, but th this is the only non, <laughs> well, I mean, I've got the BGT now and, and, the, and the LA, but um, Fujikura has been a staple at the top end, but this graphite design is really lovely in the fairway wood. And it's been testing really well with, with, with fittings and whatnot. Um, not that that influences what I play, but I, I'm really enjoying the three wood. Last but not least is the driver. Now the driver, I mean, I typically hit driver pretty well. I've been playing stealth, nine degree, not the plus. I, I, I shouldn't say it, but I, I can't stand the sound of the plus. It's loud and obnoxious. When you hit the plus, like in the bottom of the face or anything like that, it, it just sounds horrible. But the stealth, I had sim, I mean, I've had just about every driver, but the sim two, was wonderful but I didn't get on with twist face and I still don't love twist face but in stealth it, I don't know if it's different I don't know whether it's a head I don't know what it is but this goes extremely straight for me and quite long and I really really like it 
paired with my, this has been a staple for me for a few years as well, Ventus Red 6S is a bit of a go-to for me. Um, again, Gripmaster Grip. In this case, I got the signature. A um, bit of a long story as to why I got signature on it, but uh, signature for that ultra stick. But Red 6S, I hit up, as you know, quite a lot. It actually reduces some of the dynamic loft. So I don't hit this, I, I hit the ball pretty high, but it'll only peak out at 30 meters. Um, so that's my current driver. Now, what am I looking, I suppose, what am I looking to change? Because it's been, uh, it's been quite a good bag for me. Um, the wedges will stay. I'm looking at upgrading the irons. I'm looking at upgrading, <laughs> probably the whole bag to be fair. Part of will stay, wedges will stay. Um, I'm looking forward to trying out, um, you know, the new TSR drivers, the Cobra driver, uh, amazing results with that. So whether or not the stealth will, will stay or go, who knows, but that is my current bag as of uh, November in 2022.